All right, guys, anyone that buys a remote start plug and play kit off us or a CompuStar remote start or security system that we sell here in Australia, you can add all these long range remotes. So we have a whole series of 10 different, different types of models. So you can have small single button ones like this that have like 200 meter range for just starting the car from inside your house. Or if you've got a security system, you can get LCD remotes. So these are the new T9s. These are kind of pretty cool backlit units where you can see what's going on with your car, like temperature, see if it started. These are about 900 meter range, so they're kind of cool. Uh, but we've got heaps of different options. But we're gonna show you today how to actually program them to your system, okay? So if you're adding these remotes or buying them later, which you can do if you've got the kit already, you can add these on. It's really easy to program them. We thought we'd do a separate video because we do get asked a lot. So, let's show you. Now, these are the remotes here. These are just quite small. So you're gonna get all the remotes out that you need for the car. So these are the single buttons. These are our cheapest ones. These are really uh, quite affordable. I mean, I, we sell them for, I think, uh, $59 delivered for a pair with the antenna. So what they'll do is they'll come in the box like this with the antenna cable and a receiver. So the receiver can look different to this. This is just the cheaper one, um, but there is different, more stylish ones on the more expensive remotes. Now that idea is that you run that to your front windscreen. You're gonna pull this cover off. You're gonna plug in the plug. There's only one way it'll go in. You put that cover back on there and you're gonna mount that on your windscreen because that's gonna give you really good range because there's no metal interfering. So these are really quite long. They give you enough to run up. We mount them up behind the mirror, behind um, the rear vision mirror. Now, that will plug into the module. So if you've got this DC2 or any of the smaller type modules that we sell for our remote start system, so they vary depending on the model, but anything that's this style, DC2 or DC3, will plug into this blue port. It only really go in one way. And all you have to do the program is so simple. We're gonna turn the ignition on, off, on, off five times, but on the fifth time, we're gonna leave the key in the on position. And this red light will light up. So I'll try and do it so you can see everything. One, two, three, four. There's the fifth one, okay? So it lights up red. While it's red, you're gonna press the remote and it flash green. Then you're gonna get the second remote. All right, and you can have up to four different remotes going at one time. So that's programmed, wait a couple of seconds, it'll turn off, and there you go, it's actually turned off. If you wanna double check it then, you can actually lock your car and make sure it's gonna work. So we don't have a siren on here, but you'll be able to see the doors lock. Let's check it out. So here we go, this one's single button, press it to lock. There you go, it locked, double press to unlock. And if we press that down and started the car, we could actually start the car as well. So here we go. Press and hold. We should go through the remote start sequence as well. All right, so it is that easy to add any of our remote, remote start kits. So they're from CompuStar. We have a series of 10. We'll have them on the website as kits with receivers. So be, be aware you have to buy them with the receiver and they come with two remotes. And you can add them to any of our plug and play remote start systems. So we're gonna make them available quite easy and really affordable to do. So check them out.